hello 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 and welcome back to planned on planning here we are in my garage tour planner and we have to get it set and ready for the month there's no time for games no playing around let's get straight to it so to do that we gotta get these pages off of course because we gotta work on them and to work on them we need to get rid of this month of just as simple as it is and the washi i'm going to be using are these so this is going to be my banner washi this is going to add a little sparkle bling to this area and then i'm going to use the gold to frame out my weeks and then of course we have stickers haha <laughs> we have stickers we have stickers all right i'm not gonna go on mary poppins on you Now, this does cover the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday just a tad, but I'm not crying over it, to be honest, because this washi's pretty darn awesome. And here we go for the next side. And truthfully, it's just that simple. I'm going to use my handy dandy scissors to cut off the excess. You know, one month I should actually just like use something big enough to get rid of it altogether because I do have a washi that has the actual days of the week. So, truthfully, no skin off my teeth. Now, this is big enough to double up on the efforts, so we are going to do just that. But, as you can see, the bows go this way, so we're going to turn it upside down just for a smidge, and do it like that. Ooh, as you can see, they shine through a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe those out. I wasn't sure if it would. Don't do this. And I'm gonna get rid of the lines as well. Cause I feel like there's some better safe than sorry. And it's just white out, so it's not the end of the world either. But I'm going to add those layers for two rows. And I've used this washi before, so I know cutting it, um, like I normally do with just a tear, is not going to work. So I'm going to get out my handy dandy scissors and just make a slice, pop it off, and keep it moving. I'm just going to go right under it and get a couple more bows going. I'm super girly. I love bows or these pink bows anyway because no I'm not walking around with bows in my hair <laughs> and what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to double up well I'm going to add a little bit of gold but remember we do gold right on the bottom so I'm going to do that one first and then I'm going to add I'm just going to cut this as well. I'm going to add an additional layer right here. Or additional row. Just to fill in that little area. Bam. All right, now let's get going with the rest of it. 
Now the reason I am just cutting it as opposed to tearing it is because this foiled washi is a little temperamental to be honest. And when you do all that pulling to try to get it to break on its own, it actually kind of stretches it out and then it gets all funky. So your straight lines aren't really straight anymore. Like it just gets really weird. So it's like, I can 100% totally avoid it by just hitting the slice. That doesn't take much extra effort at all. <laughs> so it's like, why not, to be honest? And I still go little by little, just, you know, to keep everything copacetic. Like I said, it doesn't take any more extra effort to do it, so why not do it? What I'm doing is I'm just going right on top of the black line. Because I'm going to be all blinked out, all go everything. Those. All right, and I'm going right up the side. So I'm matching my lines up. And I'm just taking it little by little, like I said, right up the side. Absolutely positively no rush because I want it done right. Why? Because this is a very special month. Because it's my birthday month. Alright, there we go. Ha ha. There. Nice. That looks so cute with the bows. All right, let's go on to the other side. Now, normally I would put a row up here, but because we're cutting, not cutting, but because we're covering the dates a bit much, putting a row there, I totally get rid of the dates kind of all together. And I kind of don't want to do that, to be honest. So I'm just going to start down here. That says if it covered it up more, then yeah, I would do it. But it's just kind of weird right now. I don't know. I'm slowly changing my mind, to be honest. As I continue on to say that I'm not going to do it, I feel more and more like actually doing it. Because like I said, I do have a wash day that has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Plus, I don't even really need Sunday. See, you see, I'm like convincing myself otherwise. I don't even really need that. I know my days of the week. Alright, now let's, oh gosh, I know, it's just so, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use like two layers, but I'm going to do it. You know why? Because it's weird coming, like it was weird coming up to here and not having something to connect it to. So yeah, I'm going to do it. Like I said, it's going to take two layers, but so be it. I think I'm actually going to do this one the whole way across. Like a border for the border. 
this image. Now, because I'm not scratching a line in my table, I'm just gonna go ahead and kindly snip, snip. Bam. All right, let me do this side. And just bring it down. And I like it. I like the fact that I can just like play with ideas. Yeah. But I do one month, I may do it the next month, I may not do it, I may realize I didn't like it, it didn't work out. But it's my planner, I can do whatever I want. I don't have to answer to anybody. Bam. All right, I like that, truthfully. Okay, so. We're gonna do one row. Just as a border on here. Just for the black. And then the next one is going to go all the way across. Love it. Yes, I do. But I just realized there's still a little black showing. So I'll just wipe that out. Now you see it, now you don't. Ha ha! Alright. <laughs> so here is the beginning of my monthly spread and my gratitude planner for August. What's the time to do now? Time to add some sticker love. And for that, I'm using my Create 365 Faith stickers. And I have some things marked off that I wanna use, including this wonderful quote here, which, might be a habit too large. It says, be kind, work hard, stay humble, smile often, be loyal, be honest, travel light, keep learning, give grace, be grateful, love big. And I just want to put that in here. Bam. Bam. Ha ha. All right, and I have some other things I want to use. If I can find them. All right, I have other. Gracious. Where am I? Oh, I just have some words that I want to put in, you know, on various days. Abundant grace. It's at the bottom. Because remember, I told you I use these to, you know, highlight wonderful things that happen to me throughout the day. So, I don't want to take up like a ton of space type thing. But, I can put them right on the bottom. Um, this one says Abundant Grace. This says she is clothed in strength and dignity. This says cultivate kindness, which is awesome. That I really like. Um, oh gosh. This one says praise the Lord. This says grace, not perfection. Mm -hmm. 
Pray, hustle, repeat. I like that. Mainly because it totally fits in with the decor. And this last one, well, not last one. I got one made up over here. This says, be not afraid. And this last one, which says, restore my soul. But well, actually, I got some space in this last line, the 30th and 31st. I can put something small there. Um, sing a praise. I think that's nice. Bam. Hmm. How cool is this? <laughs> All right. Um. Oh. What? Oh, here we go. And to start off the month right, we're going to add a little joy. How cool is that? All right. So, here is the simplicity that is my gratitude planner. And all I did was just add some wonderful little sayings um we have cultivate kindness praise the lord she is clothed in strength and dignity restore my soul sing praise starting off the month with joy hustle a pray hustle repeat grace not perfection be not afraid and abundant grace i think this is so awesome um some just wonderful little reminders uh to think about throughout the month on the days surrounding the um, little sayings as well and then I still have space to write down some wonderful things that stood out to me those days that I am grateful for, that I feel blessed because of, or that I was encouraged by. And I do encourage you to do the same, to keep some type of journal or a little writing book. It doesn't necessarily have to be a whole full planner, but something that you can write down in reflection of your day just to... You know, be like, oh, I was blessed today or I was able to bless someone today and just reflect on that, you know, at the end of the day. I do encourage you to do something very similar. But um, we're going to be done for now. I like where we are with this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free um, to comment below, definitely. Um, or you can send me an email if it's something like a little more personal that you want to talk about. Um, if you need some encouragement on, if you need some prayer, you can definitely hit me up for those things. Um, don't forget, or you can email me about that. Um, like I said, if it's a little more personal and you don't want to put it in the comment box, definitely email me and we can um, get to chatting and get to praying for each other. If you have any any questions, reserves, anything like that, I'm always, always here to talk. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media. And when you do, just um, leave a comment on a picture. Or, you know, Saturday, I like, you know, just hit me up in my DMs. Everybody likes to DM every now and then. Um, and just let me know that you saw the video. And I can say thank you so much. And we can get to chatting and talking about whatever. Um, but I am done. I'm not even going to try to add more into this because in its simplest form, it's beautiful. So I will talk to you guys later.